Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to look at Out of Nowhere and six simple techniques for decorating or dressing up a melody. Out of Nowhere is a really simple, straightforward, medium tempo jazz tune, uh, which means it's easy to play the melody, but it's never enough just to play the melody as written. And it's very important that even the first time when you play around a melody, you do something with it which jazzes it up and makes it personal and makes it different every time. So if you just play exactly what's written, then it's not, it's not really good enough. So what we're going to do is uh, look at six different simple techniques uh, or rhythmic phrases that you can add to this or any tune at almost any point in the tune uh, which will help just to loosen it up and make it um, a bit more jazzy and musical. And you can kind of liken these musical phrases to the things that people put into speech like uh, you know or as I was saying or you know um, <laughs> The phrases that don't really mean very much, but are kind of fillers, which uh, just keep the thing moving. So that's what we're going to do. First of all, let's just go through the basic melody, which is really quite simple. Um, and then we'll look at these different ways of dressing it up. Okay, now we're going to look at these six different simple techniques which we can add. First one is called crotchet triplets. So uh, normally you can fit four crotchets or whole notes into a bar, but if you replace um, each two notes with three notes, then you get one, two, three, four. Now this may, you, you may find this really simple or it may be that you're going to have to spend a bit of time on counting one, two, three, four, da, 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 da. So either you can do it straight away or it may take you several minutes, hours or even weeks to sort that out. But the crotchet triplet is a very useful and very simple thing to put into a melody. So I will play maybe halfway through the tune and I'll put in lots of these crotchet triplets. And I'm not going to divert far from the tune, I'm just going to modify it ever so slightly. Obviously that is over-egging it. Um, you would probably only want to do one or two of those in the 16 bars that we've just done here. But as with each of these, I'm going to do it a lot more than is musically viable, uh, just so you get the idea of how to use it. Okay, the next one is what I call the punch and pause. 
So, um, instead of going straight into da 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 da, which is what most of these bars do, we're going to do. So, we're going to start off with a strong accented note, uh, punch down with the bow, and lift off again. Well, this is something that you can do a lot at the beginning of a bar. Do a, a note, a pause, and then back in again. So I'll um, I'll go through again the same eight bars, the same sixteen bars, and I'll put it in lots. This takes us down to the heel, and a lot of times you see um, people learning jazz, uh, totally ignoring the heel and just always playing in the middle. But this is something that takes us down. It gives a strong accent. It gives you a lot of force and power when you use the heel. Okay, uh, number three is pause and play. So here, uh, the beginning of the bar is a rest, and I don't think that actually happens in the melody hardly at all. So this, uh, it, may, it just adds a little extra interest. Um, so we're going to do something like one, two, three, four, one. One, two. One, two. That kind of thing. Okay, so again, from the beginning, one, two, three, four. adding an element of surprise and if you keep on doing it then it loses its surprise. So again, I, I repeat, don't do this all the time, but when you're practicing then you can do it all the time. Okay, next one is repeating the note and you can pick pretty much any, any, any note you like but you just play that note over and over. So something like this. <laughs> And if you can get um, some kind of syncopation or some interesting rhythmic pattern on that repeated note, then that would be good. Uh, a good place to do it is often at the end of a line, such as at the end at uh, bar 7 or bar uh, 15, 16, uh, where there's an actual space. But you can always make a space by shoving some other notes out of the way. Uh, one particular pattern that I do like is... <laughs> But that's just one of many possibilities. And just something as simple as. Something like that. Just a repeated note but with a lot of articulation. Okay, let's do 16 bars of that. have a video about uh, bowing swing patterns and uh, one of the most useful is the chain bowing and that is so 
So it's one half note, and then two slurred, two slurred. Uh, so you can stick one of these um, either in a space on a long note or as a linking phrase between notes. So you could do it right at the beginning. If, if you're doing a scale then um, particularly with a chord sequence like this, which is not so straightforward, probably a good idea to look at the chord, think about what the chord is, and go up the scale of that chord. Uh, again, let's do 16 bars of that. And finally, uh, what I call the stutter, and this is one of my favourites. Um, the stutter is it's breaking a long note into a, a long down bow, and then two very short bows right at the tip, instead of just... This is something that Stefan Grappelli does a lot. I've, it feels like a gypsy thing to me. Um, but it, what, it, what it's not is an actual um, stutter in that it, it is smooth. It's not a, um, a rough, uncertain kind of thing. So it's a, the, the, the important thing is to do it at the tip and to do tiny bows. Okay, so these are six patterns which can be used over and over again um, in any kind of medium tempo tune and a lot of them will work in, in up tempo tunes as well. Um, so what I recommend is that you try these uh, first of all on Out of Nowhere and then on quite a few other tunes and you get them so that you're doing these uh, rhythmic phrases without really thinking. They'll just become part of your musical vocabulary and uh, whenever you play a simple tune you can add these in and, and make that tune slightly different every single time and more interesting. So I hope you found this useful. If you would like a copy of the dots for this then do subscribe to the channel and send me an email. Uh, if you would like a copy of uh, a zip file with all of my PDFs from all the videos that I've done in the last two and a half years and that's there are over 300 of them then do please consider joining me on Patreon and that is what keeps me going, it's what uh, supports me in this work that I'm doing, making these videos. So that's one of the benefits, is getting all of the PDFs in one go. Um, so I hope I will see you again soon. I'll play you out with once around the tune where I mix and match all of these different phrases.